What's up everyone and thanks for watching. Today we're going to be introducing one of Yellowscan's high precision, high accuracy and lightweight drone LiDAR solutions, the Mapper Plus. To start we're going to talk about the build quality and different components of the Yellowscan Mapper Plus. So right off the bat, this is a nice complete product. You know, a lot of the laser scanners out there tend to look a little bit home built. This one doesn't, it's just a really nice clean look. Now inside there is the Aplanex APX15 IMU for accurate positioning data. And on the bottom, that's where you have your Livebox Horizon laser scanner, which is gonna give you 240,000 points per second in up to three different returns. And when flying the system at about 70 meters or like 230 feet, you're gonna have 2.5 centimeters of precision and three centimeters of accuracy. So when purchasing the Mapper Plus, you'll be able to pick from two different configurations. You can either go with the DJI Skyport option or the Gremsey adapter option. Now because we have the DJI Matrice 300, we went with the DJI Skyport option. And the nice thing about that is as you connect your Mapper Plus to the drone's gimbal, you'll also be able to use the drone's battery power to power the Mapper Plus. If you don't want to go down that option, you will also have two batteries that come with the Mapper Plus that will give you about an hour of flight time, but keep in mind as you swap these batteries out, you will have to power the system down, turn it back on, and wait for it to reinitialize, which will give you a bit of a delay. If I utilize the drone's battery power, I will be able to hot swap these batteries out while keeping the Yellowscan Mapper powered, which will get me back in the air just a little bit faster. Now next, you'll also notice on the drone, I do have a GNSS antenna on here, and I did also swap out the dampers from the original dampers that come with the DJI Matrice 300. These dampers are just a little bit more rigid and will stabilize the system just a little bit better, and the GNSS antenna is used to record GPS data to the, to the Yellowscan Mapper Plus. Now remember, this does have its own IMU, and now we know it does have its own GPS antenna, so that just means that the drone is more or less just a vessel to carry the Mapper Plus throughout its mission. So the last thing I have on the table is a 20.1 megapixel Sony camera, which is just an additional option for your Yellowscan Mapper Plus. This can be used to colorize your LiDAR point clouds, but keep in mind, should you use this, it just will add a little bit of weight to your system. So just to reiterate, the Mapper Plus is a completely independent system from the drone that's going to be carrying it. So in this particular case with the Matrice 300, the Yellowscan Mapper Plus will not have any access to the drone's RTK data. That means if you want trajectory corrected data, you will have to rely on a base station. And with that base station's data, you will have to go through a form of post-processing to get that trajectory corrected data. Now, once you have that corrected data, you will take that into Yellowscan's cloud station, which is their software solution to generate LAST files, DHM files, DSM files, and DTM files. So that's our overview of the Mapper Plus. Now in another video, we will be going over the workflow of the Mapper Plus, starting with data collection all the way down to post-processing and then using that post-process data in CloudStation to generate those last files as well as those DHM, DSM, and DTM files. Now if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave those below. And again, thanks for watching our video and be sure to reach out to us at terrestrialimaging.com.